Okay, so sellers, should you trust, and buyers actually, should you trust Zillow's Zestimate? <laughs> Okay, so I promise you guys, this isn't a poo-poo on Zillow day, even though us realtors really do like to do that. But what I'm trying to show you guys is that if you look at Zillow, realtor.com, Redfin, or Trulia, which is also owned by Zillow, what you're gonna notice is that when it's giving you a value for your home, you're going to get four different values. So who do you trust? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but those websites are just algorithms. They have never stepped foot in your home. They don't know what upgrades you've done or haven't done. They don't know all the beautiful laminate or vinyl flooring that you just put in or the beautiful white dove paint that you put on your walls. It does not know that. So I made a video a couple of years ago that states the Zestimate the actual price that they give you on Zillow is within 10% of the final sales price 71.5% of the time. Now, in Orange County, that is a huge difference. Being within 10% of a million dollar property could easily be $100,000 that you miss out on because you were pricing your home based off of a Zestimate. And that figure is only right 71.5% of the time, meaning Outside of that, that other 30%, it's just even further off. You can't trust an algorithm to price your home. So what should you do? Zillow's website tells you exactly what to do. They say you should contact a real estate agent or go get an appraisal for your home. And even if you talk to three different appraisers, I guarantee you guys, you're gonna have three different values for your home. And at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing because those values are probably gonna be very close to each other. But what you should be doing is you want to talk to a local, local real estate agent who knows your area in and out, who knows what the sales have been in your neighborhood, who knows that if you have a home on this side of Irvine Boulevard versus this side of Irvine Boulevard, how that would affect your value, who's sold homes in your area, it's so important because they know the micro areas in and out when you deal with a local real estate agent. So when you call up an agent, they're gonna come in, you're gonna to talk to them about the improvements that you've done to the home. You're gonna to talk to them about the landscaping. You're gonna to talk to them about all the money you've invested or haven't invested in the home and they're going to come up with a rough, a rough valuation of what your home is worth. And I say rough because at the end of the day, to know truly what you're gonna get for your home, you have to list it. You have to put it on the market and let the market determine what it's worth. Your home is only worth what a buyer is willing to pay. So I hope you guys found that information helpful. If you did, I ask you to like, subscribe, comment, and ring that bell so that you can be notified every time a new video comes out. I'm Latrice Saluna, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.